And we're back. I just wanted to really quickly do the Boomer Museum um, because we can pass all of those speech checks, which is awesome. We can't do anything in the Nellis Medical because we don't have high enough medicine for any of that stuff. And you can't just use equipment like we could at uh, Forlorn Hope. Raoul, get out of the way. So here's the snow globe for Nellis. It's in the museum. Let's get Pete to give us his whole spiel. All right. So I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm not gonna make you. I'm not gonna put you through watching, and I'm just gonna fast forward through this. So enjoy my rad fast forward music. Bye. Alright, so just listening to that gets some Boomer's fame, but every single one of these questions has a check, and at this point, Grandma can pass them. Explosive 40, Science 35, Survival 40, Speech 40, Speech 55, and Repair 40. Alright, so that should be idolized right there. We don't necessarily need to do. You know, you'd think there'd be a copy of Duck and Cover around here. He's got La Fantoma, but there probably is a copy of Duck and Cover somewhere in Nellis, but I just don't know where it is. Um, so I want to do uh, the talk to Pearl, and she'll start us on the other part of Volaire or whatever the hell the other one is, the one where you go and get the bomber. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and also get her to tell us if it's cool that Janet come and kick it. Yeah, Jack's interested in a girl. Give him the opportunity to bone. Mm, yeah, whatever you say. Alright. So now it's kind of it's kind of convenient because both of those quests we need to go back to the hangar to get uh, to get continuation on. Talk to Jack and talk to Loyal. God damn it! This area is far too big. By the way, if you guys are hearing uh, my roommate playing a very poor rendition of songs on the guitar, that's because he's brand new, brand new to it and I encouraged him to learn a new skill and that's what he's trying to learn so if you can vaguely hear some like sweet serenade background music that's what it is it's totally cool uh, okay so here is loyal and he's gonna tell me all about getting the bomber and the bomber is um, I mean, just doing this quest is pretty cool because you get this rebreather off of him. Alright. So now we have the rebreather, and I don't 
I can't remember if it takes a space. It takes a face space. I'm not 100% sure if it does or not. Oh yeah, it takes the place of the eyeglasses. So it's a quest item, and it's going to be in my quest or in my, you know, inventory forever because I don't think you can get rid of it. But from here on out, if I need to get something from, say, the bottom of a river, I'm okay with it. I don't think there's too many opportunities to use it, really. Except for maybe, like, one or two spaces in, like, the expansions or whatever. Okay, so we want to continue to do Young Hearts first. And after we get done with Young Hearts, um, and send Janet along on her way, then we'll go and get the lady from the lake. There's kind of a gnarly little section at, at, during that quest, because where you pop up and detonate... Uh, the ballasts or whatever, that's where a bunch of Cazadors live, so. Alright, so I need to go talk to McLafferty too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what Blake has to sell while we're just standing right there. He didn't have any money. I do want to check out the Boomer shop, because for some reason I've never actually ever used it. I found it the other day, and I was like, this is a thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Why don't we just take that quest? There's no point not to. Alright, so I can't pass any of that shit, but... I'm just gonna tell her that I have a deal. And I'll clear out all of her bullshit, because... Why not? You know? You never know when something is gonna pop up, or you're like, oh, I actually already talked to Alice Lafferty, and she told me that you are a piece of shit, and then their fucking eyes pop out of their head and they start doing backflips. Alright, so, sorry Janet, I didn't get your back pay, but if you want 200 caps, I'll fucking give it to you. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. You don't need that money. What are you gonna fucking spend the money on over here anyways? Grenado launchers? I bet Jack has plenty of, like, boomer points or whatever the fuck they spend money on in here. It is weird to me that... Oh, God damn it! I wasn't going to come back here. I was going to go get the lady from the lake first. What the hell is this bullshit? Oh, okay. That's why I'm having a problem with my brain. Because I need to go to the crash B-29. Let's see, which of these is fastest? Coyote Tail Ridge. Most assuredly. I might not have time to actually go and get the boom... The boomer bomber. Now why wouldn't this be on the goddamn... whatever. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah, maybe I do. I mean, all I'm gonna do is run down there and then run back. Yeah, see those red things that are twacking out on my radar? Definitely Cazadors. We'll see if we can throw down like a quick... a quick couple of VATS grenades. I'm not sure if... I, probably the VATS charge for Thumb Thumb is more, not less, but... How's that range looking? Not very good. Oh, come on. This is rough. Yeah, give me the percentages. Can you calculate those? That's pretty good, actually. The AP cost is about the same, but let's just... Put some explosives down. We did have quite a bit of, uh... We did have quite a bit of range on those, which is nice. And I don't know if we killed five of them, but... We s well, we certainly killed quite a few of them. Yeah, we did kill five. That's not too bad. I don't have any particular reason to get the uh, Cazador poison glands or whatever. I'm not, not sure what they're exactly useful for. Oh, that's weird. The, the uh, B29, or yeah, the B29 Lake Mead Lake, I guess, doesn't have any radiation poisoning on it. So I guess we may as well put this on just for now. Come on, Granny, swim. 
swim your 95 year old triple bypass heart out. Swim your football and ass down there. Okay, let's be, let's be fucking honest here. Shit that's left above ground is ruined. Like, it's rotten as fuck. You know what I mean? There's no way that this plane that's presumably been underwater for 200 plus years is any good at all. There has to be like you know there has to be like diagrams for building the plane from scratch that are a hundred percent more useful than this piece of shit and I know they Raul what are you doing I know they fly it during like the final mission presuming that you have them on your side or whatever but like dude there's no way what what Loyal tells you when you ask him, how are you going to get the plane back here, or whatever, he says that robots take it apart and bring it in for him. That is a load of horseshit. Alright, let's get this plane up here. Like, one of the wings is even fucked up. Right? It's fucking, it's rotten. Let's just throw that thing the fuck away. It has to be rusted into one giant fucking hulk. You know, have you ever seen a car that's been in, like... Even a car that's been in the woods for 20 years is fucking done. You know? A car that's been at the bottom of the lake is like a, a coral bed at this point. Alright. Thanks, Loyal. And, yeah, I'm gonna quickly end this video. We're gonna come right back and complete the boomer shit and figure out what's next. So, see ya.